we've got a very special surfboard, Mark Fu's personal Waimea Bay gun shaped by Milton Willis in February of 1994. It has the iconic purple and yellow Fu spray on the deck with a clear bottom and the unique phaser bottom concave that the Willis brothers we're putting into many, many boards during this era. It also has Mark Fu's sponsor logos intact. The condition is a 9.0. It's all original, some normal wear and tear, superb deck coloring. On the stringer, it says Willis Brothers 294. This board and its owner are filled with legend and lore. Intelligent, driven, and dependable, Mark Fu became one of the first surfers to be sponsored by a non-surfing corporation, signing a modest deal with the Anheuser-Busch Brewery in the mid-1980s. Fu gained notice as a big wave rider in January of 1985 when he paddled into the teeth of a 50-foot Waimea closeout set and shortly after, with hundreds of people on the beach watching, tried to ride a 30-footer. A friendly feud, meanwhile, developed between Fu and Texas-born big wave rider Ken Bradshaw, and in 1988, the two were profiled in an outside magazine feature titled The Divided Rulers of Waimea Bay. In that article, and in dozens of private and public conversations, Fu talked about the possibility of dying in Big Surf, telling one TV interviewer that, quote, it would be a glamorous way to go, a great way to go. I mean, that's how I'd like to go out, end quote. In 1986, Mark Fu finished runner-up to Clyde Aikau in the Quicksilver in memory of Eddie Aikau contest at Waimea Bay. Fu visited Mavericks for the first time on December 23, 1994, and tragically, Fu died after wiping out on a 15-foot wave. The evidence wasn't conclusive, but he was probably driven to the bottom where his leash or surfboard snagged on an outcrop of rock, and he drowned. Along with lengthy write-ups in the surfing press, Mark Fu's death was covered by the Network News, MTV, the New York Times, who described him in a detailed obituary as the Joe Montana of big waves. A similar shorter Mark Fu gun with the same color sold at auction three years ago for $6,500. And on the auction block now, we have Mark Fu's personal 9.6 Outer Reef phaser bottom gun shaped by the Willis Brothers and in very good to excellent condition. This board is dripping with provenance. Fu rode this board at Waimea Bay, received a surfing magazine cover shot riding this board at huge Toto Santos Island, and rode massive outer reef waves on this board. Fu tragically died 10 months after this board was created. Here are some quick thoughts from Milton Willis, the shaper of this surfboard. Well, one, my thoughts start with Mark Fu, an extremely special individual. One thing very few people know is Mark Fu is the guy that said Eddie would go. Incredible. Mark Fu did it. He was the first guy to surf the Outer Reefs. His dream was to open that up XXL. He knew we shared the same vision that he did. And he approached me and he said, hey, Milton, this is what I want to do. I want to have a board that can do extreme, high-powered, critical surfing and giant XXL surf. And that's that board right here. Where, where that board made history, of course, was Toto Santos when he got the cover shot on that charging. But Mark, he, he primarily surfed a lot of, believe it or not, his stuff was without camera and out of reefs. Nobody there but Mark and his heart. And that guy lived it and loved it. Well, at the time, I owned a house at Three Tables Beach right at the church by Waimea Bay and had a shaping room right in the backyard. Mark came over there and we, just, we, we uh, had a green tea and discussed the board and it was shaped right there, by, right at Waimea Bay. Very special person, very special board. At the time, it was the phasers. He trusted and believed in that board, and the rest is history. This culturally and historically significant surfboard has no reserve, with a pre-auction estimate of six to $8,000. We have a motivated seller, no reserve on this opportunity to own a piece of big wave history. For more information and to register and bid on this board, visit CaliforniaGoldSurfAuction.com.